Hello, Shaki. Hello, Theo. What do you want? Um, well, uh, what did you a, do with your hair? Yeah, I was at the hairdresser the other day. Uh, my hair was pretty long, it was about this long. And um, I asked you to cut my hair, but then I decided I didn't want to cut my hair. And oh. then I decided I did want to cut my hair. So I wanted, I would, wanted. Yeah, so I went to a cheap hairdresser and they fucked up. So uh, now it's just not really. They didn't think of the shape of my head, and yeah. you always do, so yeah. I really need you to help me out here again. Out of this wakey I'm hairstyle. I'm sorry I cheated on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> when you do, never cheat, you never know what the difference is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you, you have to do that. Now I'm back here, so okay. this is, this is where I belong. I always love you. <laughs> Although, <laughs> will you turn for you and the rest of the world to show what your hair is now? Yes. Not too fast. No. Yes, it's a mess. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Thank you very much. Hello, friends on YouTube. Gonna do her hair. Hi. Gonna make something beautiful, soft of it. No hard lines, no clipper cut, no color. Just wonderful, short, soft hairstyle. Of course, I start with protection. And uh, sorry for the black cape on the last video. Somebody uh, don't want that color. It's not the color black. So I start this time with the blue. It's nice because she is also a bit boyish, and that makes her, as a girl, beautiful. Going to wet her. The first thing I noticed when I saw her hair is the top is too long and too thick. The sides are too short. And this side is a, a lot longer than that side, so there's a lot of uh, difference in the length. There are no uh, techniques used, so no slicing, no nothing. It's just a blunt hairstyle. And that on such a beautiful skull. I will use uh, a cutting uh, cream, it makes it a lot easier. And I think I start on the back, there I make a soft line in. Start working on the back. What I do is they make also a hole in it that I don't want. I center on the skull, uh, skull bone. There I go up. Holding the line ultra soft, so I, I take it about a centimeter off the skin. Work in the curves of her hair fall. On top, I will connect it with the slice technique. Okay, now I come to make yeah a movement in it because it's not nice how it flows. By the way, this is uh, my latest uh, scissor I bought with uh, Kion. It's wonderful sharp, it's ultra light. It's also a wonderful slice scissor. Just gently work my way up. Yeah, it's a couple of shock. It is not steeds leuk. Yeah, it is ook 
En dat was ook echt eigenlijk realiseren wat een bijzondere kapper je eigenlijk ook bent. Ja. Echt heel erg. Ja, ja, ik zelf weet dat niet zo. Ik ben best alleen even stil. Ik leer nog iedere dag. Dus ja. uh, ik wil ook blijven leren, anders vind ik er niks aan. Vandaar ook dat ik nooit zeg, ik, uh, ik ken je haar. Dat zal ik nooit zeggen, want ik vind het leuk om het iedere keer opnieuw te ontdekken. Uh-huh. En ook haar is altijd anders. Dus nu is het winter, dan zie je bij jou bijvoorbeeld heel erg de slagen zijn veel dieper. Het ligt veel platter op je hoofd. Ja, ja je houdt inderdaad ook gewoon rekening met gewoon omgevingsfactoren en zo. Niet dat ja. je gewoon volgens het boekje werkt. Nee, zeker niet. Dat werkt ook helemaal niet zo natuurlijk. Now I'm going to work out the hardness of the lines that are made in. Now you see already that there is new shape in it because now she has a new volume because this is a lot thinner than on top and that um, is also the way to work it out when there's not a line in it you work it this way out so it's a better uh, fall of the hair. Lay the hair in a natural fall, set in in the fall and just pushing the hair up. I think the hairdresser she had was also afraid of ears. <laughs> Because there's a lot of hair behind the ears. I had to say that the ear actually would like to be free. Yeah, that's much yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she didn't even know. Jackie uh, asked the hairdresser she had uh, to free her ear from hair. But uh, <laughs> I, I'm, now I'm certain she's afraid of yeah. ears. Ear phobia. Yeah. And ears are the most wonderful things a human has because there's a wonderful shape. When you go to the inner ear and the shape you see there, this was you when you were two months old as a fetus. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So that's why ears are so always a wonderful thing to see. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Well, I think it's a wonderful thing to see. And the nice thing when you watch that. It can be a lot of inspiration also to do hair. There are always times you don't have inspiration and then you find it. I find my inspiration by the, the movement of the skull, the ears. I love noses and the bigger they are mostly I love them the most. But there's something strange with noses. <laughs> and the eyes of a person are uh, telling me what power I can use into a hairstyle. Well, I'll try to, to watch what the person is, who the person is, and then combine with my soul to make a wonderful hairstyle. The spiritual. Yes, It's it is. Beautiful. This is like a three-dimensional <laughs> hair salon. <laughs> yes. Like your spirit, your body and your mind <laughs> and your soul. Yeah. Everything. <laughs> When that so. happens, you come into a flow and it's wonderful to be in the flow. But then you have a whole day of love. Yeah. Holding the softness of the side beard. to the front and softly cutting the hairs around it. And then I take the thinnest part of my comb. This gives me more control over the hairs on the contour line. And 
and just bending the hairs in, into the fold. Yeah, the upper hair I will slice, but I'll do afterwards. On to the other side, again, put my scissor in over the skull line because that's important. And the way I hold my comb is the same as her eyebrow lines are. So I copy always the natural lines. When you might want to make a natural falling hairstyle, you have to do that. Because otherwise you go against the hair fall and against the flow. And then you never get a soft hairstyle. Ja, graag is dat hè. Ik vind ook knip altijd heel mooi. Het geluid van de schaar vind ik heel mooi. Mm -hmm. Heel rustgevend. Terwijl het ook heel distrusseus kan zijn. Want het kan heel veel weghalen wat je niet wil. Ja. Maar toch op een of andere manier gebeurt er gewoon nooit. Het wordt gewoon ergens aan gewerkt. Ja. <laughs> maar het is mooier als een tondeuze geluid. I can slice it a little bit up. So I get a softer connection on the line. This side you also see that the skull has a much nicer shape when the underlines are a little bit shorter. The tip will slides a little bit to get a softer neckline. Becomes wonderful, <laughs> marvelous. Yeah. Okay, coming to the side, stay working the same line. So just lift the hair up. And when you free one ear, you free both ears. No, not when you make a disconnect, but that we don't make. I find hairstyles that are pure uh, the nicest on Yogi. So this is a pure hairstyle? Yeah, this is a pure hairstyle. Can we clear that? I've never thought about it. for yourself. Yeah, but it's dark. Ja. Die blonde plukken ook allemaal afdringen, dacht ik echt wow. Ja, dat is echt donker. En ook als ik van, uh, van blond naar, bru naar bruinig wou, wou ik eigenlijk gewoon een beetje deze kleur. Ja. <laughs> Want het is gewoon mijn eigen kleur altijd. Ja. Ja, dat staat wel mooi bij je huid. Talking about color. She is, uh, had a lot of colors. And this is a natural color, but when you grow older, above 21, um, your color always changes. It's the same when you are 13 and you have a perfume, it can smell wonderful, but when you have an uh, age of 21 it can be the most uh, horrible uh, uh, perfume you ever had. Because it don't comes together with the skin. I think my hair may be black when I'm 30, 40. So no, I don't think so. No? No. I think you stay in this kind of colors. Yeah, they're warm. Well, I don't change them. <laughs> <laughs> you can have all the colors you want. It's the nice thing about uh, hair colors. And all the colors grow out. Again with the small part of my comb, with narrow teeth, I do this line. 
and lay the hairs in natural fall, pulling the ear down. Mooi. Coming to the upper hair. Here I just take my largest uh, key on a scissor and make nice new slice techniques in it. First on the sides, show you that a bit how I create them. Lay the scissor flat in and just give it the movement. To just take out all the hardness that's still left because I don't want to cut the upper hair too short but I want to give it some wonderful movement and you see that the upper hair, the upper layer is too long so that's why here lays a lot of hair in this case I use a slice cutting technique now my scissor is just standing straight up show you that on the front so on top I lay my scissor flat on and just work in lines just bringing back the softness ik maak ook tegenwoordig echt meer tutorials uh, van knippen dus ik eerst had ik nog wel eens dat ik best veel weg liet mm -hmm. maar dat vind ik helemaal niet meer zo belangrijk ik vind het gewoon mooi dat je alles kunt zien Degenen die heel korte stukjes willen kijken, die kijken toch alleen maar eens de korte stukjes. Ja, klopt. Ik ga gewoon doorspoelen. Lay the hair to the opposite side. Now I'm going to create a slice technique in the under hairs. And the nice thing about working this way is that you can also uh, more movement into the hair. Because now you get a cross slice technique and it brings a lot of movement. Again to the sides, just making it soft. Make a circle around the skull bone. And when you use a slice technique, the beautiful thing about that is that it don't has to be all in the same length because you don't see it because slicing gives so much movement to the hair that it is not important that the length is the same. Now I'm going to concentrate on the front. See this is a strong uh, heavy line, I don't want that. First I go into the fall of the hair and then I go into the opposite lines, taking off a lot of weight. Because she is also has a, a, a small forehead, so this is not a large uh, skull movement <laughs> place to be, uh, I don't know how to call that, that doesn't matter. But it's, this part is just ultra small, so when you leave it too, too heavy, you never see the beauty of her. So I want to create that back. And I love slicing. Gives so much more character to the hairstyle. Now I roughly control the upper length. Do this also in a slice technique. Stay away from the sides because they were too short. You 
Leuk die haartjes zo vallen. Echt fijn. Echt fijn. Dat is mijn favoriete onderdeel van bij de kapper zijn. Haarden. Ja. Die hier de haartjes. With a small clipper, I just correct the lines a bit. Making sure there's no hard lines on it. Same I do to the neckline, I'll show you that. Take the hairs to the side. And watch where the best fall of the neckline is. Cleaning the underline, laying the hairs on it. Just take away small parts, not too much. Because I don't want that hard line we started with. I want a soft line. It's more beautiful. Same I do on this side. Lay the hairs aside. Clean the underline. This is just like a little small disconnect. Just a small part you take away that gives uh, rest to the hair and to the line. And then ultra small parts you take away that just stick out. For so far cutting, so now I'm going to blow dry it. Okay, what I'm going to use to, uh, before I blow dry the hair, is a smooth uh, of Lanza. A small amount, you don't need too much of this. It always smells delicious. And the nice yeah, thing about this, yeah, the nice thing is uh, it's holding uh, a lot of moist into the hair, so it never looks dove or not, not, yeah, not, not uh, alive. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Dead. Dead hair. I'm just going to blow dry it with the uh, use of my fingers. Zo'n kort kopje is maar uh, veel erop is twee tellen droog. Maar met zo'n product erin dan duurt het iets langer. Omdat je het vocht in het haar vasthoudt. Dus dat laat al wat moeilijker los. En dat is eigenlijk heel goed voor je haar. Dus je kunt meteen zien, want jij hebt dan zo'n asblonde kleur van jezelf. Maar je ziet gelijk glans erop in komen. Je doet normale asblonde kleur niet. For so far blow drying, and now I'm going to use uh, the most wonderful products like a nice serum that's always smelling wonderful. And adds a lot of shine to the hair and don't get greasy. This is uh, her ultra soft, ultra feminine short hairstyle. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. This is how a pro uh, does uh, the hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a touch of love. Zo, rondje draaien. Wat ga ik draaien? 
Eh? Tweet elf. Okay, my love, you will show your hairstyle to the world. I will. And you're looking wonderful with it. Thank you. You're welcome. As Thanks always. again, yes. <laughs>